that you, Rumi? Caution, the floor is wet. You're damn right the floor is always wet with me around. Oh, you worried about little old me? Didn't think you cared. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. Although really, if you do find the place is really dry, please do check on me. Dry and slime folk aren't good things to mix, as you saw last summer. Oh god, don't remind me. Being so hot I had to hide in the shower for several days was the worst. It felt like the sun was trying to boil me. Anyway, you get whatever it was you needed done? Ah, oh, sorry. I don't really have much reason to ask that. This bad habit of mine is dying really hard. But good to hear whatever it was is all sorted out. Did you have plans in mind for dinner today, or are we winging it like usual? Neither of us has plans then, and I doubt you'd let me have you for dinner tonight. <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, but we both know that'd be a lie. That was quite the face you made. I'll be remembering that one. In all seriousness, put your things away, and let's figure out what to have today, if we want to order out or something. I wish you weren't as odd as you were. Dude, I told you about my last four roommates, right? All of them ran off because they didn't feel safe with the slime folk. Say I'd eat them in their sleep or something. Like, seriously, first off, while I can physically do that, why would I even need to? I get everything I need from far easier ways. Second, I'd much prefer that they stay awake so they can struggle. It feels nice. Dude, don't give me that look. You signed up for these kinds of topics when you moved in with me. Not they ever seem to scare you away. Which is what I mean by odd. Other humans seem to not want to be near me for a long time, and yet here you are and it's been three months without issue. Not including that fall when you first came here. But thankfully you got used to the wet floor. And me getting bigger when exposed to a large amount of water. And the fact that I actually take showers. I didn't finish... Oh, no, I didn't finish explaining that, did I? Well, the simplest way is to compare your skin. You know how eventually it all just slowly replaces itself? Well, my slime can do the same. I have to get rid of the old and bad to replace with stronger and cleaner new slime, which is what I do in the shower. Using that soap you should definitely not touch because it's not meant for human use. And another odd thing about you is that everyone else double takes about my eating habits. And the fact you can see me slowly digesting the food because I'm partially see-through. Yet, you don't even flinch. Sure, I warned you about it, but still. Honestly, the fact I do wear clothes seems to be the only thing you seem to react normally about compared to everyone else. Sure, it's all rain gear, but hey, we've got social norms to fit in with. Everyone else does it. It wouldn't be fair if we didn't. Exactly. Right, the raincoat does indeed help us against evaporation, too. Water getting caught in the jacket instead of getting lost entirely. I can't really argue with that, because it is a love-hate relationship. We need water to survive, but too much water will destroy our bodies. That's why I don't ever go to the beach. I mean, technically there are a few of those seafaring slime... But honestly, those are more akin to jellyfish, uh, you know, physically speaking. Say, you seem to know a lot about slime folk. Something I should know? Yes, I did tell you to look up how to live with slime folk before you moved in. But you don't shy away from the topic. Ever. It's like you spent far longer than you needed to in terms of looking up my people. Potentially more like an interest rather than necessity. Sure, sure. I've fallen down a rabbit hole once or twice myself. There are few topics I could read or watch videos about for hours and hours, but that's normally the end of it. And yet, you are here putting what you found into practice. I'm not blind, Rumi. And before you jump to conclusions, I haven't gone through your browser history or something like that. Be very obvious if I did. <laughs> given my liquid hands. However, the fact I was suddenly bigger after a shower, you weren't surprised at all. The fact that a good amount of furniture is covered in plastic sheets didn't bother you. That we have to ban carpets and rugs because I'll just ruin them. The fact that my 
bed is literally a big bathtub minus the drain, or the several large open containers which I use as places to sit. Hell, you bought me a new one when the one in the kitchen broke and started to leak. You may have been bad an eyelash when I set myself down in the cooler in the living room for the first time. It is the equivalent of flopping on the couch, but your lack of reaction means one of two things. One, either you are the one human that is unbothered about everything ever, or maybe you might have been looking forward to it all. I know which one my guess is. No, 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 Rumi. I'm not letting this go. Why, oh why, would you be doing all these subtle things to make it less awkward for me? And not seeming to care about any of my weird slime stuff I do. Well, we're dehumans normally. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You aren't getting out of that chair till I get to the bottom of this. I'll just slide myself over here. Are you by chance having naughty thoughts in that little head of yours now? I'm not doing anything. Certainly not leaning forward just enough so you can begin to slightly peek into the coat I'm wearing. Come on. Out with it. Why are you so interested in my kind? Hmm? You can complain all you want, but I'm not letting you up till I have an answer. I'm going to start having trust issues with you, Rumi, if you start keeping such secrets from me. Maybe I should peek into your computer. I'll stop when you answer my question. I want to hear it straight from you. No harm done if you answer now, but the longer you wait, the less of a good boy you'll seem to be. Come now, you haven't been shy at all till now. Slime got your tongue? Say it. At last! <laughs> See, no harm done. Say so like slime folk. More specifically, slime girls. Nothing wrong with that. I don't see what the big deal was. Now you can openly talk about things like that. Feel free to do so. It's not going to bother me at all, before you ask. Although, I'm definitely going to tease you about it now. Of course it wasn't fair. It not being fair made it more fun. And, perhaps, I could let you out now. Unless you wouldn't mind a bit more fun. <laughs> yeah, more fun. So, whatever do you like about us slime girls, huh? No, no, let's see if I can guess. Is it the fact we can take on any form we wish? Maybe it's our ability to get through impossibly small spaces. Oh, or is it that almost all clothes stick to us, and that doesn't leave much for the imagination? <laughs> You've turned six different shades of red suddenly. I can't imagine why. Certainly couldn't be the slime girl standing over you. What other colors could I make you? Oh, you're rather quiet now. You're normally so talkative. Maybe a slime really does have your tongue. Why? Well, for a few reasons, admittedly. And since you were being honest about this... It's only fair if I return with my own honesty. Personally, I've had very poor contact with humans. Not counting those that I met at work or when I'm buying stuff at the store, but more like you and I. You know, you're the only roommate that has stayed any decent amount of time with me. No more than a month or so in most cases. But with you, no long-term problems between us or anything. So the fact that you like people like me is a huge weight off my shoulders. I can actually afford to relax around someone for once. I don't have to walk on eggshells, so to speak. Being seen as a predator means most people don't try and mess with us slimes. But it also means people don't approach us often, if ever. I suppose I'd probably count as touch-starved. Man, I think about it, I can't even remember the last time I was simply hugged by somebody. So, I must admit, having someone who isn't going to run away in fear is a blessing. I don't want to waste it. Lastly, one more thing before I forget to mention it. Now I want you to be honest with yourself. If you knew you had a safe way to indulge in any of your slime-related fantasies... Would you? And 
And what if I said that you knew a slime girl who perhaps would be open to helping you indulge in them? Maybe even right now, as a reward for a good boy's honesty, even? Wow, I can really see the gears turning in your head. Just picture it for a moment. You being a good boy for me might result in days where I don't wear the coat around the place anymore. Maybe I'll wrap myself around you on the hot days to help you cool off. Or maybe I'd even engulf you completely, cover you entirely, and drag you into my body. Let you struggle as a good little snack should. And maybe even I'd let the best boy sleep inside there. Share the bed tub even. Or maybe I might walk around with you curled up inside. Oh man, don't pass out on me or anything, Rumi. Or should I call you my little snack now? Of course I'm offering. You become my good boy, my adorable little snack, and we can play together. With your permission, of course. And we'll need to talk about boundaries. Unless you'd prefer me to break those boundaries. You've gone quiet again. Am I going to need to just take you? Was that nod to the offer or taking you? (laughs) I know what you meant. Come along to my room then. All right. We'll keep it simple. We'll use the light system a good amount of you humans use. Hmm. Green for go, yellow for slow down, and red for stop? During our fun, I'll ask you what color the light is, and you simply say green, yellow, or red. Green means you're having fun, yellow means you aren't sure, but to slowly continue, red stops everything. Simple, yeah? We'll come up with other things later, I'm sure. And obviously harming you is off the table. I'd prefer you trust me more before we could be near anything like that. Now then, my delicious-looking prey... Why aren't you hiding? What? Oh, I was dead serious about eating you earlier. Picture yourself trapped inside my body, helplessly struggling against your fate as my adorable snack. Now are you just giving yourself to me, or are you going to try and hide from the monster? A hunt it is, then. I enjoy a small chase. Now, wherever could they have gone, they obviously aren't in my room. Did he go into his room? Hello? Under the bed? No. In the closet? Nope. Bit of a mess, though. Surely I'd not go hungry with such a snack running around. Of course, when it's finally time to have my snack, they run off. How rude. Let's see, living room, not behind the TV stand. Hmm, maybe here. There you are. Don't find it, my lovely morsel. You knew this day had to be coming. You chose to live with a slime girl and figured she wouldn't eat you at some point. I had thought you were smarter than that. Oh, well, your loss, I suppose. Look, you can struggle all you want, but you're all mine now. Oh dear, seems I've already engulfed both of your legs. Sorry about your pants, I'll wash them later. If they don't melt first, which they probably will. (laughs) Not that you'll need them when I'm done. Whatever shall you do, my little snack, with parts of me dripping down and over you, slowly pulling you inside. To be nothing more than a large dinner. My cool body feeling over your warm skin. Aw, your arms are stuck to the floor now. I wouldn't yank too hard. You might hurt yourself. What color is the light? Green? Good. You really want to survive this, don't you? I admit, I'm loving your fruitless struggle. But soon I'll have you completely. In a swimming pool you'll never escape from. Ending up as a part of me and nothing more. As much as I'd love to torment you more, I think it's time I put you where you belong, my little snack. Come here. 
Let's just grab your head, pull you up into the last hug you'll ever have. It's far too late to resist me now, little morsel. You should have found a better hiding spot if you wanted to escape this fate. Now my slime will wrap around your chest and arms, slowly tugging you deeper. Oh, I can feel your every movement inside my slime. It is pointless, but I'm enjoying it. Oh no, now your arms are locked inside. Just your head and shoulders left before I seal you within. This was fun, but it really is time to finish my food so I can get other things done. Bye bye All gone. All mine. You were just as delicious as you looked. You're fighting it even now. My, my. I should have let you struggle for longer then. Well, my form is a bit of a mess. Let me just shift you around and remake my... Ah, oh, this feels great. You've completely curled up into a ball in my belly. Not that I gave you a choice. Still trying your best to escape your slime prison? <laughs> Not likely. All that there is to do now is to dissolve you into nothingness. You'll be in there a while, so enjoy it while you can. Hey now, who doesn't talk? Know your place, little morsel. Hmm, I wonder if I should take a picture before you're all gone. That way I can show you off to any other slimes I run into. I believe I just felt you get warmer. Are you going to die from embarrassment in there? What's wrong with commemorating our first time? Actually, where is my phone? Oh yes, this is totally happening. You can't stop me. You can't get out of there without me wanting you to anyway. Let's just take a selfie with you and me, huh? Oh, complain all you want. I'm doing this and here we go. Save digestion! All done. Okay, I'm taking you back to my room now so you can finish stewing inside your new prison. Alright, Rumi. The scene is over. Didn't want to throw too much at you this time. Let me just pull your head out so we can talk. Are you doing okay? Nothing hurting or anything? I assume you're tired after all that. You thrash around quite a bit. Yeah, that's to be expected. My body is thicker than water, so moving around it is much harder inside. My core? I moved up here into my head. Don't worry. It's not too hard to keep you from hitting it while inside my body. Though, I will just drop you if I ever feel like we're getting dangerously close to doing that. Enjoy it? <laughs> of course I did. You were the bestest good boy. You were such a good-mannered prey. I hope I wasn't too harsh for your first go. I got a little too into it at a few points. Now, the main question is... Would you want to do this again? You would? Lovely. Well, we'll figure out when we can play and whatnot. Oh, and you are totally keeping the name Little Snack now. Well, if you didn't want to be potentially referred to as food, you probably should not be where you are right now. Plus, come on, Little Snack is a cute pet name. It's not like I'm going to use it in public. Not without your permission, anyway. A name for me? Call me whatever you think fits. It feels like playtime will often have me on top, so mistress works? But I also just ate you, so... We'll have to workshop it, I guess. Honestly, not sure what the best to call me is, but mistress works as a start if you want. But back on topic. Are you all good there? I know I'm generally cold, so... You're fine? Great. This is honestly really nice. Having someone I can actually touch without them starting to worry? Well, yeah, I can tell the difference. Shivering from cold and shivering from fear look and feel vastly different. Also, when you do come out, you're going straight in the shower, and I'll put your clothes in the wash for you. Does that work for you? So you're okay with everything I did? Nothing crossed any line? And didn't scare you, did I? Yeah, I guess the first few moments of being submerged were probably unnerving. Dude, of course you didn't feel anything like that. 
if we couldn't turn off our digestive process, I couldn't use any of the furniture. I'd have to sleep outside at all times. There'd be holes all over the place, and pretty much everywhere I go. It'd be a super slow process anyway. Something your size would keep me going for at least a week. Maybe two. So, yeah, unless you're allergic to something, short stays inside will rarely do any harm. Not quite sure about your clothes, though. That's yet to be seen. You look great like this. I'll definitely be doing this more, my little snack. Sorry. You did really well, and I can't help but just pet you a lot. It's the weirdest feeling pets ever, aren't they? But you were a good boy, and we know good boys get head pats and such. Say, what if next time I ignored you? Say I've eaten you, and why would I need to talk to my food? Obviously, if you give a stop signal, we're stopping. I'll be listening, but not reacting to it. Okay, we can try that at some point. I can't think of anything else to discuss at the moment. What about you? No? Good. Then my little snack, all that's left to do is this. <laughs> Struggling already? I did say earlier that you're going to spend a while in there. I never said you're allowed out of my body yet, now did I? So you stay there and be a good little morsel for me, and I'm going about the rest of my day. I've got videos to watch, games to play, you know, all that super important stuff, while my dinner digests. You're free to struggle, but good luck actually getting anywhere. Enjoy your stay, my little snack. I know I will. Now then, what am I going to do now? I've got a backlog of videos to binge. But then again, I just got that new game. Ah, too many things to do. Hey, I don't recall food talking. Shush, you have to deal with the fact you aren't coming out soon. Not my problem. What's that? I can't hear you through my slime suddenly. Oh, well, surely it wasn't important. Hopefully you'll fit under my desk at my computer. If not, I'll have to turn sideways or something. Okay, let's see. Might be a bit of a squeeze. Not that food should be complaining about anything. Do try not to fall asleep in there. I'll keep you even longer if you do. Or maybe part of you wants that, hmm? Hey, you fit! Great! Now you be a good boy and let me play my games without too much fuss. I wonder if you can hear the keyboard. Let's see. Do you want something competitive? Don't want to bounce around my passenger too much in their confines. Oh, why not? Time to build a slime space empire in Stellaris. Assuming the mods work. Huh, I could have sworn I heard another voice. But it's just me and my meal in here. Weird. Well, I'll play for a bit, and then I can do dinner proper. Do I need to make food for my food, though? Eh, I'll figure it out when we get there. You might be in there for the long haul. Good behavior may net you extra attention later. Talk to you later, my little snack. <laughs> 